Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make your own simple Gorilla Tag FNAF fan game featured with multiplayer and voice chat. Now this can be something that you make and upload to App Lab, or it can just be a little hangout for some of you and your friends. But we're gonna go ahead and get started by just creating a little cube just for your player to stand on. And we're gonna come over here in the hierarchy, left click and delete main camera. Right click, I mean. So once you've done that, you're gonna need to go to the first link in the description and import a package. So pretty much, you can also just drag it in, but it should say Gorilla Locomotion. Hit import. Hit reload. This may get rid of your changes. Yep, it did. So just redo them. Boom. All right. We're gonna go down to resources, gorilla, and then gorilla rig. And boom, your game is literally a gorilla tag for that fan game. But it's not really multiplayer, or is it actually ready for VR? So let's get it ready for VR first. So we're gonna go to edit and then project settings. Click on XR plugin management, install. Now this may take a minute, so I'm gonna fast forward. Alright, so we are done. First thing we're going to do is click on Open XR, and now we're going to wait some more. Doom game. Hmm? Is that Doom? You if you were going uh, to... Is that Doom? What? No, it's Ultra Kill. Doom! When I ask you if you are going to reset your editor, hit yes, and this will close out your editor. Just don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's perfectly normal if it closes out. Make sure you hit save, or else everything you've done will be gone. You'll have to restart it. So we're going to hit save. Give it a minute to load. And boom. So, well, first thing that we're going to do is click this little icon right here. Edit. Hit the plus. Oculus Touch. Hit the plus. Valve Index. Now, this will make it so that way we have controllers. Then we're going to come up here. Hit Multipass. Come up here. Click on the Android. Click there. Multipass. Then we're going to check Oculus Quest Support. Then we're going to hit the plus and Oculus Touch Controllers. And then, boom. The final step for getting it ready to be on Oculus is to go File, Build Settings, click on Android, and hit Switch Platforms. Now this usually takes a bit, uh, but this will make it so that way it is completely compatible with Quest and ready to go. Boom, okay, mine's done. So, pretty much, it's going to take a second to compile some scripts. Um, right here, if you get this error message, just hit Fix, it's not a big deal. And then just close out of it. But uh, yeah, so now whenever you go to file, build settings, you'll be able to build, and it gives you a file, which is the game. But now you may be asking, wait, how is this multiplayer? Or how is this voice chat? Now that's where we're going to go to the second link in the description. We're going to import another package, which you will download from the link in the description. It's going to be Photon VR. Now, you will see a whole bunch of errors, and it won't let you play your project. But don't worry, we will fix that. It's very, very easy. The other thing that we're going to do is hit Window, and then Asset Store, and search online. First thing that we are going to look for is Pun, and we are just going to Pun to Free, and then yours will say Add to Unity. Click that. And then the other one you want is, just type in voice and it should show up. Uh, nope, okay, just type in photon. So there's a specific one that we're looking for called photon voice. Now it is a little hard to find. Boom, right there, photon voice. Click on it, hit add to project. Now, once you've done that, hit Window, Package Manager, 
my assets and then type in pun now we are going to import it and wait it and wait some more now this will fix quite a bit of errors come down to the bottom right hit import because those errors are looking for things inside of the project that we haven't imported yet but by importing these two things it's going to solve all those errors which you're about to see it's no longer going to be red it's going to be yellow Okay, so you notice that it's still red. It's perfectly fine. Now what we're going to do is type in voice. Photon voice. And if you've considered using Normcore, just just don't do it. Normcore is, it, it sucks, alright? Just don't use it. And boom, all of our error messages are gone. We can click out of that and go back to scene. Now, this is where things are going to get a little complicated. And we're actually going to be leaving the editor. Um, but we're going to want to come down to prefabs in here. We're going to want to type in photon into the search bar. And we are going to want to drag in photon VR voice. We're going to want to drag in photon VR player spawner. And we are going to want to drag in Photon VR Manager. Now, these are all the things that we need to make our game multiplayer. First thing we're going to do is click on VR Manager. Region, we're going to type in US or just whatever is near you. And then App ID and Voice ID. This is where we have to leave the app, but let's do that last. We're going to come down to Head. We're going to type in Main Camera. So that way it knows where it is. Type Left and Left to, to show that it is in the left hand controller. And then right for right hand. I'm going to change mine to 10, but you can mess around with this however you want. Probably don't mess around with the default queue or the connect on awake and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so this is where things are going to get a little more complicated. We're going to head over to Photon, which is a website. You're going to have to create an account. But once you do, you're going to want, well, you're going to end up on your dashboard. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the dashboard just so that way you know where you're going to be. Now, I'm going to have to censor most of it because I have a lot of my game keys here. But pretty much, we're going to have to hit create new app. We're going to have to hit pun. And then you can name it whatever you want. And hit create. Find it. Oh, there's mine. App ID. Copy that. We're going to go back here and paste it into app ID. And now we're going to go back and do the exact same thing. But instead of making it for pun, we're going to make it for voice. Name it whatever we want. Hit create. Scroll down. And let's find it. Boom. Copy it. Put it in voice app ID. And now we're just going to drag this to where we want the player to be. And your game is pretty much ready to go. That's it. Your game is multiplayer. You got your gorilla player. You're ready to go. Now all you have to do to get the file for it is click on build and then choose where you want it to go. And it will create an APK file which you can sideload or upload to App Lab. Um, now if you would like more in-depth tutorials on how to build maps, how to do certain things like low gravity mode or a computer for names or just whatever you want, just comment down below. And I'll try and get to those. But yeah, so this is about it. Um, I hope this helped, and see you in the next one. Peace out.